I think the main thing we talked about more than anything was just, you know, how important the work is this this off season of trying to, you know, take myself, my body to the next level, um, find ways to, to make things happen through adversity and all those other things just because, you know, team is what's going to do it. So we all have that feeling. We all are excited for next year and we all know that, you know, we're all going to put in the work to be better players next year and, and take that leap for the team. So. Ladies and gentlemen, coming soon we will witness year two for Cade and Livers, as well as year three for Bay, Stu, and Kill. Just how good will they be this season? Using clues from the end of last year, interviews, and offseason workouts, we can answer that question. In year one, Cade Cunningham took the league by storm, especially in close games where he delivered daggers to the opposition. Year two will see even more of that, but Cade is looking to improve in one area in particular. From James Edwards, we got a quote from Cade stating he's been tracking his turnovers and scrimmages. This is great to hear since MC will be the full-time point guard going forward. In his first season, he averaged almost four turnovers a game, and as a team, the Pistons ranked 11th most in turnovers. So any improvements in that area will have a big impact, and Cade looks to be leading the way with that change. Last note is that Cade added muscle this offseason, so expect him to play more physical. This style of play, in theory, should get him more free throws. Extra points from the stripe could push Cade to a 20 point per game score. Last season, Sadiq Bey showed his versatility, especially on offense. Known for catch and shoot threes, he expanded his game to scoring off the dribble and post ups. Another area of note was his rebounding. He had an impact on the boards a lot of nights. Passing is another thing Bey did more of. There were a lot of times he ran pick and roll with Stu, and they had success. This kept defenses guessing, and Bey himself wants to keep things that way. Um, just having to see, you know, to see dif different defenses, seeing different matchups, seeing uh, how different teams play me um, and play me throughout the years is definitely something I'm going to carry into the summer um, and to make sure that I can impact the game and impact winning no matter what defense is thrown out. You know, just to have, you know, a, a presence and a, a dominant impact every game and it doesn't have to necessarily be scoring, it could be passing, it could be assisting, it could be rebounding, defense. Um, but just to find ways to impact the game in every way, so uh, make it tough for scouts. From that quote, we can see Sadiq wants to build on what's working rather than add new things. With this focus and attention to detail, we can see improvements from Buffalo Bay across the board. At the end of the season, Isaiah Stewart got the green light from downtown, and he was making those outside shots. Then in summer league games one and two, Stu showed he will make defenses pay for leaving him open. This is not surprising. We have a ton of footage of him practicing these shots. All that practice is going to have a big impact next season as Stu will be attempting more threes. Another thing is that we will see Isaiah get more playing time next year. Why is that? Well, the Pistons brought in two centers in Noel and Durant, which means Stu will be playing power forward like he did in Summer League. On paper, this could lead to less fouls, resulting in Stu staying on the floor. Another player that had a surge at the end of last season was Killian Hayes. He was finally scoring in double digits consistently. I believe this trend will continue with how Kill has spent his summer. Uh, for me, it was just just playing this offseason, just playing a lot of basketball, pick up ball against uh, like other NBA players, uh, getting used to uh, the one on one game, playing without a set play, and just just hooping, really focusing on my three point shooting and the mental aspect uh, of the game. To you know more of the people you play against, uh, especially like with the scouting and getting used to it. Uh, sometimes I got improved is like stop reaching and you know we, we be fouling a lot so I think as a team as a whole we need to focus on like having our hands back and you know playing defense more with our bodies. Hayes did exactly what he said he would do as we've seen him in a bunch of pickup games working on his scoring. That is really the only hole in his game and Kill has spent the entire offseason working to fix that. Another thing to note is that the comments about fouls. Just like Stu expect Kill to be more aware of fouls so they can stay on the floor. Take the extra practice, the Paris game, and a prove it season, mix that all together and we could see a breakout year for Killian Hayes. Last up is Isaiah Livers who came in late due to an injury, but when he finally got his shot he didn't miss. From day one, Livers was a threat from downtown, plus he was a bolt of energy on defense. So what will we see in year two for Livers? Well I think he will become more unpredictable. For example, whenever Livers got the ball, everyone in the building knew he was going to shoot it. But in Summer League, that changed as Livers was either putting the ball on the floor or making the extra pass. With Zay showing the ability to hit mid-range jumpers, drive to the rim, find open teammates, and cut to the basket, all those things will take him to the next level and make him even more dangerous of a player going forward.
and that wraps up this video. What player are you expecting to go off this season? Let me know in the comments below. The Pistons have released the full schedule for this season, plus the squad was seen in a scrimmage that featured Steph Curry and Trey Young. So lots to talk about for the next few days. I'll be breaking down the full schedule next and hitting you guys with a news video right after. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to see more Pistons content. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.